Yeah, I said if you can find any of those places, you get a cookie. Here's a hint, I have to have gone there at some point, right? All right. Today's Saturday magical day. I'm not going to say the date, but we all know what day it is today. Not a not a celebratory day cuz you know, if I say that then I get banned. But um we are uh, we are having a wedding. Oh, Kmart has redeemed the fish hat. All right, the fish hat is going on. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a fish anymore when it's on my head. All right, there's your fish hat for you. I have mostly everything prepped and I know it's not seven o'clock yet, but you know what? Today's the day where I don't care about the times and stuff like that. I'm just gonna start whenever I'm ready, which is right now. So, um, you may have noticed I have gloves on. There is a reason for that, so that um, when I do my mixing later, it'll be easier. So, we are having a wedding today. Making some Italian wedding soup. Um, that's that, from HelloFresh. Today's the last, um, today's the last uh, day of HelloFresh, actually. Um, the next time we do a cooking stream, it's gonna be from let me see if I can remember. It's not some basket. It is called Gobble from Gobble.com. I've never heard of them until I literally went online and was scouring for different meal kits to use. Um, no, 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 can't say that. Uh, but yes, Gobble is our next meal kit vendor. Um, Unfortunately, they only deliver on Wednesdays for my area, so I couldn't customize the dates, uh, but hopefully the meals will still uh, be fresh when I do the streams on Friday and Saturday. We'll see. It's not coming next week, it's coming the next week after that. So next week, um, there is no scheduled stream unless you guys suggest places in Austin for me to go venture to for the restaurant streams. But as of right now, um, no stream scheduled. I have I have a panda with me as my guest. Hello. Um, yeah, I guess let's get started. Uh, do, do they actually, I wonder if they actually use this, like, like at Italian weddings. It's, it's a weird thing, like putting meatballs in a soup. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can agree with that. I mean, meatball soup. I like just, you know, meatballs on spaghetti. Because, like, you put the meatballs in the oven and then the, the outside becomes crispy, but then you put them in the soup. And then, like, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it, it, I'd probably get banned if you were here, Kmart. So, I'm um, glad you're not. We all love you, though. Sort of. Um, simple, actually a really simple, like, uh, there's no way I can mess up this, although I already have because I already did the onions wrong, but no one knows about that. Um, everything's prepped, looks like. I have the onions diced, I have carrots and garlic, 
and then have parm on the side. Uh, open the Italian seasoning and pour it a little bit in here. This is gonna be our meatball mixture. Couscous. I I really don't like. I don't. I un, I do not understand couscous at all. Like, just give me rice or noodles at that point. Couscous just don't make sense to me. But, um, I guess, let's see. Let's do the mix first. Uh, I'm gonna oil the baking sheet a little bit. Mm, where's my, where's my? over here. Thank you for chopping before the Yeah, like that that is just the it's the greatest idea I've ever had so far is just have everything prepped. And so we're only left with the easy parts. Um I do have to salt this though, don't I? Three, four teaspoons salt. Let's just get those in right now. Uh, I cannot find them. Everything's right in front of me, but I always forget. Three food, three four teaspoon is not a lot. I guess I won't use a lot of salt with this. Let's mix this thing up. Am I good with my hands? Can I get a job with my hands? Should have diced the onion a little bit more for this. They said use minced onion, but honestly, I didn't want to chop these anymore. They're good. Okay. It's pretty well mixed. Alright. Here we are. So, uh, push this off a little bit. Get this thing over here. I'm going to have to spread this around. I guess since I'm using both hands today, I'll try to make them relatively spherical.
Alright. Almost done here. I think I have left enough for two more. They, they made a lot of meatballs in the picture here. Um, oh, thanks for the thousand bits. Holy shit, came on. Stop. Stop. I'm not going to talk about this, but there was a transaction last night, and you shouldn't be doing this today. have a really scuffed meatball, this one right here, uh, but <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Alright, so meatball is going in the oven for... They wanted me to form 14 to 16... Okay. Guys, I like my meatballs big, if you haven't noticed. So, um, this is how it's gonna have to be. They're in the soup, it's gonna float around like big balls, it's, it's alright, it's alright. My mouth can handle it, I'm, I'm specially trained. 12 to 14 minutes. Top rack, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I buffed it up. Alright, top rack it is. Start counting, guys. What's the time? It is, um... 6.52. So, um, let's see, 12 minutes, that's going to be 7, 12, wait, hold on, 7.02, 7.04, fuck guys, holy shit, math is hard, 7.04, this one I need to check on, alright, let's continue. While meatballs roast, we need to do the um, we need to do the, the, the soup. So moving on over here. Let's bring the mic over here too. Uh, I almost dropped the camera. Holy crap! who is in her ring. Um, you don't have to lurk. I say this all the time. You can say something. Alright, that's our drizzle of oil. Next we're adding the onion and carrots. So I'm going to put these all into the same bowl right here. This to be pretty hot to actually start cooking. I want it to sizzle quite a bit. 
Hopefully this pot is large enough for the soup. So only supposed to be two servings, so I don't think we need the huge pot. And in the meantime, let me get the water ready. Guys can't really see it into it. Okay, there you go. Now you can see into it. I'm prepping some water. three and a half cups. Alright, let's start this. Um, what am I going to use? This is supposed to sit in here for like three minutes. I don't think it's going to make it to three minutes. garlic and the Italian seasoning. And then I also want to get the stock ready. It's going to be one after the other.
then time to add the water. This is two. Big pinch of salt is what they ask for now. That's pretty big. We'll see that if that's enough. Our meatballs should be pretty close. Um, let's see. How long is this going to sit for? Bring to a simmer. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. I will need to get the kale ready. We're using half of the kale. I want to put because I really like kale is just I don't know I'd rather put something else instead of kale you know like into soup shit really what the hell came hey, on what did you do stop <laughs> simmering yet. Let's turn the heat up a little bit more. Oh! Okay, Mark, can I give you VIP? Does it let me? I don't know how VIP works. We'll, we'll figure it out. I just need to get the stems out. And then there's actually not a whole lot of stems in this. Good. We'll use the whole batch. Okay, let's um, get the stupid echo dot. Doesn't understand. Um, I don't know. Like, actually, it's seven oh five. Let's say let's take the meatballs out. Those look pretty good to me. I don't want to do them um, like more than I have to. Alright. Is this 
simmering yet? <laughs> it's... All right, I think we're just gonna add the kale in and see. We put the meatballs in for 12, so it says 12 to 14 minutes. It's been in there for 13, so exactly half of the range, I guess. Yes, exactly. You know exactly what is up. I, I ain't cleaning another aluminum pan if I don't need to. We can do a little bit more, I guess. Also want half of the coos. Okay, so I ha I ha I always have complaints about these recipes because you know I have to critique it, right? Um, why not just give me enough for what I need? Because they want me to use half of these couscous and half of the kale, and this is kind of wasteful because I'm not gonna use couscous for like anything else that I cook ever. Not a resealable bag either, so it's just kind of wasted at the end. all of the couscous because it's not supposed to have that much but I will use it a little bit more than half can it can't be that bad all right that's good cooking this for 8 to 10 minutes. Who's getting... I'm getting married! I'm glad you asked! Yeah, Italian wedding soup. I'm getting married! Uh, meatballs are a little... Uh, <laughs> I pulled them out. Well, I put them in too early. Now we have to wait. But at least, like, when we put them back in, they'll reheat, so it doesn't really matter if they cool down on the stove. Um, so let's count. 7.09. Um, 8 minutes of this is gonna be 7... Uh, 7.17. I can math. I can math, I promise. I passed high school. All right, but uh, in terms of everything else, pretty much everything's done. I'm just wait, waiting here for the soup to be ready. And then we proceed with the wedding. Who has my ring?
guess I can get my bowl ready. I'm gonna use a nice little bowl today, I guess. Where's the honeymoon Mexico? Can't go there. It's dangerous, Kmart. ready, put everything away. Short marriage. <laughs> Yikes. It, it's, it's not, um, you know, it's it does make sense because uh, you know they say uh, marriage is the you know climax, the peak, right? And it can only go downhill from there. So you know why not, right? A marriage a year keeps the life insurance company on their toes. Like uh, keeps the keeps the divorce attorney, uh, you know, happy and rich. Switch to this thing. Oh, I hate waiting for this. I'm just hungry. stick to the foil, which is a good thing. Ladle. Yes, it's called a ladle. The thought of cooking and then making peanut butter and honey sandwich. Peanut butter and honey sandwich, though. Ooh, thanks for the follow, Christine T C. I'm trying to make sure I pronounce people correctly. <laughs> I'm also sort of blind, so I have to lean in and actually look at the screen. Um, peanut butter and honey sandwich. It's usually peanut butter and jelly. You know? I've actually never tried peanut butter and honey combination. A sugar is it? Yeah. I, I do love honey though. Kmart, can you eat honey or are you allergic to that as well?
This makes me want dessert after this. What would be a good dessert that I could get? Today is Saturday, so everything is still open, including Chick-fil-A. I'm not saying that I will go to Chick-fil-A, but it is a pretty plausible uh, option right now. And honey is like, honey doesn't make you fat, right? If I'm correct about this, it's like the, it's, it's like the optimal solution if you're trying to, you know, still like have something like tasty, but, um, you know, don't want to screw yourself over. Seven eighteen, right? We says seven eighteen. Uh, it's pretty close. Last two three minutes of cooking, we're adding roasted meatballs. So right now, This is the wedding. This is the wedding soup. No, nope, just sitting around. <laughs> you just have to. You just have to have the correct, uh, you know, jeans. If I could, I would share. No, I'm not gonna. This, this is a trap. I'm not saying that. So it's done. It is done. I I, I should taste it, right? <laughs> oh, let's taste. See if it needs more salt, pepper. Oh, severely under seasoned, as expected. Kmar, you don't like traps. I was gonna say, since, uh, you know, I um, seem to not be able to gain weight, I could share, but uh, there's no way to do that. A tad more. If that's not enough, I don't know what is.
All right. Time to plate this. Camera pause, please. Thank you. Wow, we, we are finishing early today. That's a good sign. Finally. this over here fish hat welcome jolly yeah I made it an option in the um, what's it called in the loyalty point thing where you can redeem it picture time but thank you for uh, showing up to celebrate my wedding I, I really do appreciate it I only need like two pictures of this actually for Instagram purposes Three, actually. Let's do this here. Oh, I forgot the parm. Put it on real quick. That's what I always, I, I always forget the last like crucial parts. You're here to celebrate my wedding, correct? I mean, that that's why I would be making something called the Italian wedding soup. get a good zoom on this as good as we can Will tell us more about what? I actually don't like uh, topping stuff with cheese. I, like, I wish the cheese is like just melted into the soup. I, I prefer that a little bit more. Oh, the wedding. You you want you want more info on the wedding? Mm, like, I mean, it's um, there's not much to say. You know, it's just the wedding. When you celebrate a wedding, you just, you know, you eat some good food. 
I hope when my mom watches this, she doesn't get super confused. Mom, if you're watching, don't worry about it. Nothing to worry about. I do like how the soup tastes. I don't really like the I don't really care for the kale. Soup tastes nice. Um let's try the meatball. Mm, that's a cooked meatball. It's a good thing it's still uh, soft. Oh yeah, so, okay, wedding plans. All right, so, um, no wedding plans. And it, we're gonna eat, and after, um, no, I'm gonna go go out. Don't get her hopes. <laughs> Shut up, came up. We're gonna eat, you know, have, have this. There's another bowl. Um, I haven't prepared it, but um, it is, it is in the back. And after eating, um, I'm gonna go out and you know get some treats, stuff like that. Get some nice dessert. Um, plan plan a vacation maybe. I don't have Netflix, but I have Amazon Prime, so Amazon Prime and chill. What else? I mean, that's 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 life. And then um, probably like you know. Like in about like a month, like go through the Disney Disney Plus. Oh no! <laughs> I I think that is that is pretty justified. Gotta gotta watch Disney movies. Yeah, so maybe I need to, you know, do a subscription. But maybe like you know, I, I'm. I'm projecting in like a month or so, like do the whole like divorce thing, right? And um, you know, I'll go through that. I'll split the assets. Um, you know, say say the goodbyes and uh, go through it all over again. That's the only way to really, you know, make things interesting. <laughs> hmm, gotta gotta always have you know plans and stuff um, you know stuff happening in the future gotta, gotta ride the roller coaster to the end of the stream as I mentioned earlier now that there's several people in here there's no scheduled stream for next week but if you guys message me with a restaurant in Austin to go visit I will probably stream that next week if not then 
well, thank you, thank you guys for giving me a week break. Yeah, I do, I do two restaurant streams each month because that's, that's um, how I, well, I calculated how much data I use per um, IRL stream, and I'm limited to two a month. So that's next week. Yeah, it's about like um my my data plan is either 10 or 8 gigs and um it's 3 to 4 gigs uh per live stream. Okay. Okay. McDonald's is banned because I'm allergic. You can't choose McDonald's. You can't choose food that I'm allergic to, okay? Yes. When I was in, um, let's see, I was probably elementary school age-ish. Uh, we were moving from New Jersey to Texas. And so along the way, you know, if you're doing the drive, it's it's a pretty long drive. You have to go multiple days before you'll make it to Texas. Along the way, there was a McDonald's, uh, you know, somewhere in the middle. I don't remember which state it was. I think I've mentioned this before. Um, so I went into, we went into the McDonald's and I ordered, you know, I used to love McDonald's. So it was, it was pretty good. I ordered my chicken nuggies and my fries, ate it. And about 20 minutes later, I get this really bad, like feeling like in my stomach, like, you know, everything's just bloating and it just, it feels extremely awful. And I go in the bathroom and well, you can guess what happens next. And then ever since then, never had McDonald's. I'm allergic, okay? That's my story. You have a memory of a goldfish? Well, I'm worse then. I have the memory of a cute fish. So, besides McDonald's, um, you guys can suggest pretty much anything. Please don't try to like suggest like some high end place that'll like break my wallet. Cause I do have to pay rent. Unless you guys want to pay rent for me. I, I, I am accepting those kinds of offers. Alright. So this is getting really tough to Keep the jacket on. Just be a v VTuber. That's, 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 um, that would, that would hurt my already deteriorating soft, uh, um, that would hurt my already deteriorating self image. I'm sorry. I don't think I could do it. Yeah, it's pretty yummy. 
but it's really not fit for a hot summer day. Okay. Enjoy your weekend, everyone. See you guys next week. Only if you guys message me with restaurant suggestions. Bye-bye.